So you said you said you have a gripe with a generation in Jamaica. What are you talking about? Yes. The Jamaicans who were born in late call it from the, in the 1950s. You know, people would have been um in the sixties, yeah. seventies now. Yeah. Those people they put up with a lot of nonsense. That generation. I remember as a kid trying to get to school. You would have conductors, no schoolers, no schoolers, and these fully grown adults had no objection or qualms. They step right over and they sit in the bus and they go. Another thing, you would have a man come from an area, nobody know, and beat up a female. And people that, that generation. Oh, man, a woman business, man, a business, man, a business in it, lad, a man. And our generation will put up with that nonsense. You can't do that. You know? Yeah, and a lot of slackness that generation put up with that today won't fly. But I see another, another degree of tolerance for foolishness coming into the ghetto again. And I call upon my generation and the generation after me to resist that kind of trend. The thing about man a beat up woman and people abuse children. That's nonsense. Stand up against that. You know? The bad man in my time, area bad man, the man they never put up with slackness like that. You can't come beat up no girl around there. It leaks to your body. Yeah, you have to run away if you're lucky if police come come collect you, man. Yeah, man, we never put up with none, none of them slackness that we never put up with. A man, a thief in an area, thief, a thief from people in the area. Man, are afraid of come a water food back in the years, but you come extort people. Man, have a little shop and you come up. You're mad, man, you have, you, have, you have to run out of that, man. You're born with rubber tire, man. But, you know, not to condone cruelty, but sometimes you have to put a stop to certain nonsense. You can't make evil people come into your community and do all kinds of things so they feel like, you know? They know that certain community you cannot come in there and carry on. Back in my days, the real Dan and the people and the, world, the area leader them, so to speak, didn't put up with slackness. No, everybody had put up with slackness. And that's not good. That's why they're rape on a draw with all the young girl. Them. A girl could have, a girl could have walk in a panty in a my days. I, you, can't, you can't touch her. You can't look. Man, you say, look, a man, call out and pssst and all them nonsense. They answer, well, I hate straight. But you can't go touch her and kick her and all of them nonsense. Them. You're mad. Be you ever get for that. You can't do that. Rape, we never put up with no form of. They don't even well up on a girl and if she don't like you, know, she don't know nothing with you. Know. You cannot do that. You wait. I'm going to try you now. But just when them try, and, I, and people start noticing, and one of them are harassed. You're a bit of them in the area. Remember, we are going to make you know about it. And you know, we are going to make you know about it. Licks to your body. You have to run away. And we don't deal with rapists around here. And that's how it used to go. And Jamaica stopped put up with slackness again. And that, I have to tell you.